Today I am doing something completely out of my comfort zone. I am joining my friend Jake for a day of live portraiture. Like being a live portrait artist. Now, although I have been doing my drawing challenge where I've been pretty much drawing every day for the past 130 days, this is completely different. When I'm doing my daily drawing, I'm drawing from a reference card, I'm usually in my dressing gown and I'm very much in my own home. Live portraiture is a different ball game. Number one, obviously you are drawing someone live. Number two, you need to draw quickly. Number three, people are watching you draw. Number four, you have to show the person you're drawing. And then number five, you need to sell it to them. Every single step of that scares me, but I'm always up for a challenge. If this is your first video here, hello, it's lovely to have you. My name is Hannah Bennyhood. I am an artist and architect. On this channel, I share my creative journey and the lessons I've learned along the way. So if you're up for that kind of stuff, do hit subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Right, shall we go and give this a go? Let's do it. It was time for me to travel all the way from North London to South London. I managed to get completely lost on the DLR this is what happens when you make a North London across the river. Once I arrived at Greenwich Market, it was so busy and I suddenly realized it was half term and I just got even more nervous. I checked out the stalls and then I plucked up the courage to go and find Jake. This bit is arty. Feel like he might be round here. Oh my god, here he is in action. I'm gonna watch him from afar first. Is this a creepy thing to do? I know I'm such a mess, but I do try my best to give you what you need. So don't give up, don't give up on me. Mistakes are okay. fabulous. Mistakes mean that you are aware that you f Okay, good. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've always been on the other side of Hannah's videos. 
to see Hannah give her big energy. <laughs> and you know how you have like a video Hannah and then normal Hannah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just saw you switch Did into you video as the Bam. red light went on. I was like, oh my God, I'm there inside Instagram. <laughs> With the real Hannah. <laughs> are, we, are we on YouTube right now? In AG? I uh, don't, I might edit you out. <laughs> Jake. Hannah. I just did my first one. Oh yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> It was really God. good. Um, I'm a little like, I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed. Are you overwhelmed? Was it like drawing with someone? Like... You're so good. Jake's like a performer as he does it. He's very, you're very good at speaking. I consider speaking. the whole thing performative. Perform How do you feel about that end bit when you turn it around and show someone like, and is that like, are they going to buy it? Are they not going to buy it? Like... Well, I find that way more um, scripted, if you know what I mean. Right, okay. Like, there's bits the performance which are quite unscripted but the big reveal is the bit that everyone wants to put on their own stories right or, okay so i find that quite a safe space yeah. i find the liminal spaces in between far more like open to amazement like i think if i was doing that i felt like comfortable because i knew there was yours whereas if that mm. was just me and then it comes to that like yeah. what do you like it when uh, like? When, I start, when I first started out and I was doing it like that, the potential for disaster was so much higher because yeah. some of them were so bad <laughs> that I would just get such an <laughs> exhilarating rush out of being like, oh my God, I've just bombed. Let me show them the bomb. And that was a hit. And now I know that they like, they I bet you some of good. the bombs sold. Like, they were like so bad, they were good kind well, of We bombs. live in like the age of authenticity. So people want to buy, like they just, the experience was like. 100%. Yeah. Okay. So they were seven minute portraits. The whole gig was geared around the fact they were seven minutes. Right. And so I didn't really make a profession. I didn't really confess for it to be art. I kind of. It was only ever going to be seven was, minutes good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And then at least, hey, look, but I did it in time. Like, yeah, yeah, there was yeah, that yeah, safety yeah. net of like, well, what's can I've you I've seen um, other, like, someone on YouTube do like 30 second portraits, and it's exactly that. Yeah. It kind of gives you a. It's, it's almost deep. more invulnerable to do it in your 30 minutes. Is it 30 minutes? Well, I don't know now because you get lost in it. But <laughs> yeah. I remember the Italian bloke when I went to Napoli and did it, like, they have a Napoli time moves differently. And so when I told the guy that there, it was seven minutes, <laughs> He looked at me and went, seven minutes, is my face not worth ten? <laughs> Oh my god, I love that. I love that idea of being able to do it in different places and I bet you even in different bits of London you would capture I went to your experience. End. Did you come oh, to Tottenham? Oh, How did that oh, come? Bum. You have to do what I call like street tax, which is where you just draw all the alkies and all the homeless for free. No questions asked. Get them all on board. I love that. And then yeah. when you send up the next day, they're like, Joe! <laughs> Let's see, the last girl bought both of us. She got mine at a oh, yeah. yeah, her negotiation techniques were shocking. Like, <laughs> I was like, mine for I was like, mine's 35. Free. And then I said, and Hannah's is 30. And then I said, they're both 35. And Hannah was like nodding at me, like, yeah, sure. And then the mum just applied just the slightest bit of pressure. Like, I can't I afford. Crumbled. I can't afford two I portraits of 35. And she's like, 35? Did I say 35? Free. It's free. <laughs> Take it I, for free. I, it's because I was a child. And then she negotiated back up to a tenner. And she said, no, please take something. <laughs> the world's worst negotiation. Yeah. I need, okay, that's what we need to work on next. No, my but, ability to like. Yeah, but that's like, I mean, I used to get, I used to hate that because artists have all this thing about integrity and then to then have to become your own bloody art dealer. That yeah. really takes your energy because you've switched you mine. There's something about, for me, like I've always said, something different about selling a service and selling a product. Mm. And I'm sell a service. So like you don't see the artwork, nothing when I negotiate the price and then contract then we're in you know mm. whereas like when you're at the end then you're selling something and i've never been good at it yeah. i always find it like oh <laughs> yeah. Like, you know. so my technique for that is just I what calms me down is to look back at the work, mm. look at the actual work, and think we're not doing this just for the fun of negotiation. This yeah, yeah. A Moroccan bazaar where that's actually part of the enjoyment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it can be, and you can invite that kind of edge in. Yeah. And what's funny is when adults use their children to negotiate for them, that <laughs> kills me. And I'm like, oh my god, you've just employed your son because you're too okay. You want to go? Yeah, you want to go in Paris you want to throw them in Manila the you thing is, is that I am half Moroccan so yeah. I have been taught to haggle and you... but on the other side I crumble <laughs> <laughs>
number two down my memory cards full on my camera fail but anyway look at jake's one so good the guy didn't buy it but i think i'm gonna buy it because i love it but i love this this is coming home with me <laughs> i did here Jake's gone off to find someone else with energy, whatever that means. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can do number three. Oh! <laughs> After we finished doing other people's portraits, I sat for Jake for the final portrait. Jake has written a poem, which he sometimes shares with his sitters, which is why the last guy was staring at his phone. I too read this poem. It makes the whole experience feel quite intimate. The poem is great. Some of the questions are quite funny. Some of them are quite personal. So even if you are answering them in your head, it kind of feels like somehow the answers are ending up in the painting dun, dun, dun! oh my god i love it love the pink oh it's like a big like you know those you know in india when they throw up the chalk yeah 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 yeah, yeah. what's that festival called oh, I forgot. oh you've got such a beautiful use of color jake oh, really love it We're done for the day. Feels so good. Are we going to count our money now? I say our money. Well, I earned are, nothing. Ten has already gone on ice cream. We earned, I feel like I contributed ten pounds and we spent that on ice cream. The rest. Of That's what you meant to do with the, like the bits of change you get. You went straight <laughs> to the ice cream shop. <laughs> One hundred and fifty-eight. Which is. A, I have to say, not a great day at the office. I think that might have been me. I was maybe a bit distracted. Um, no, no, no. I, I think it was me going for enthusiastic but ultimately penniless sitters. The jeweler in Berlin was like, Jake, do stop drawing the teenagers. They only have money for beer. They do not want your art. <laughs> it's true. But when you're down on your luck and you're feeling like a solid yes. We actually know why it is Hannah's fault. It's because you have to take a higher amount of rejection from yeah. the people with the monsies. But when they finally sit for you, they usually... Why is that my fault? Because I was so afraid of being rejected in front of Hannah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that I went for the, for the teenagers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I definitely... But it was nice to join the teenagers. <laughs> And that was my half day experience of being a live portrait artist. I have to say, I really enjoyed it and I really didn't expect to feel that way. I thought the hardest bit of this challenge was going to be the drawing, but I definitely felt the least comfortable with the selling part. And that's definitely a skill in its own right. Jake really had this process down to an art. Either people would approach the market stall that we were standing at, or Jake would approach people who had good energy. Someone would just specifically sit for the portrait or they would actually read a poem that Jake said to them whilst we both did the drawings. Once the portraits are finished, you share the final drawings with the sitter. If they like it, they can buy it. Jake was selling his for £35 a painting, which I think is such a bargain considering his talent and the fact that it's a one-off original piece of art. Jake is very much not a caricature artist. He is like a fine art artist. Where else would you get an original for 35 quid? I'm not quite sure. The first people who I drew with Jake decided to buy the drawing. The second person who sat for us decided not to buy the painting, but instead asked if he could take a photograph of it. Jake said yes, but the photograph would cost £15. This makes complete sense to me because there's so much value in that photograph. And I think it really makes people think about the value of art by charging for a photograph. They paid £15 to take a photo of my drawing and of Jake's painting. And then I ended up buying that painting as well because I loved it. The last people that sat for us did not buy the painting, nor did they pay for a photograph, but they did give a contribution in return for the whole experience. I thought it was really clever that he had these different tiers of affordability for someone to contribute to their experience, even if they didn't perhaps want to go back with the specific painting. 
Jake earns on average £220 a day, which is pretty decent. Imagine if you did a day a week of portraiture on top of your other job just because you loved making art. That's like just under 900 quid extra a month. And what I particularly love about this and what Jake and I have in common is that we do not make our money via social media. So this is another example of how you can get paid to make art without having a large following. And as Jake says, you also get paid to practice. To end this video, I just wanna say a huge thank you to Jake for having me along for the day. I'll leave his details in the description if you wanna check out his course. I think the fact that next door are using a sewing machine and outside is someone sawing is a sign that it's time for me to sign off today. Thank you so much for hanging out and I'll see you next time.